In this Creo Parametric tutorial video, we're going to take a look at the copy and paste special commands. And I received a question in the comments section asking, what if I only want to create a couple of instances around my center axis? And I suggested that you could use the preview dots to turn off all the different instances, but it turned out that the user needed to turn off a whole lot of them. So in that case, copy and paste special would make more sense. Let's take a look at that. So I have the boss features and I can select them and now the copy command is available. Let me just deselect everything. You'll notice that copy is grayed out when you don't have anything selected. So it's one of those object action commands where you need to select something and then you'll have the copy command. And so now I've copied all those different features in the group to my clipboard and to use the paste special command, you could go to the paste dropdown or you could use the keyboard shortcut of control shift and the V key. When I click paste special, we get a dialog box with three different choices. And the first one is to make the copies dependent on the dimensions of the original. And I'm going to do an entire separate video on dependency when you're using copy and paste and copy and paste special because there are a lot of nuances to that. And the other two choices in the dialog box are mutually exclusive. To locate your copy, you could either apply move and rotate transformations to copies or use the advanced reference configuration. And again, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the move and rotate transformations in order to make copies. And when I say that they are mutual, mutually exclusive, what that means is if I check one, then the other is going to be unchecked. Similarly, if I check the advanced reference configuration, it automatically unchecks apply, move, rotate. But again, I want to use apply, move, rotate, and the advanced reference configuration automatically gets deselected. Now that I'm happy with my selections, I can click the OK button and it puts a box around the features that you are pasting and you can choose to translate and or rotate. You can apply multiple transformations in order to create your additional instances. And in this one, I'm first going to just do a rotation and I'll select rotate there. Also be aware you could hold down the right mouse button to choose whether you want to move or rotate. And for the motion reference, I need to select what axis I want to rotate about. You could also select a straight edge in the model. And you can see that we get a dimension on the screen as well as a drag handle. So let me drag it out over here and let's say that I want it to be 22.5 degrees over here. And when I am happy, I can hit the check mark. And you'll notice in the model tree, let me collapse the original group. Here we have the moved copy and underneath the junction box for the moved copy is our copied group. And be aware that from the right mouse button, you can see that you do have commands that you can do to this entire group and the moved copy uh, as well. Let's take a look at creating a, another one and we will select the group and copy it. Then let's go to paste special again. Let's apply our move rotate click the OK button, pick the axis, and that way I can then drag it. Oops, I'm accidentally in the wrong thing. I'm actually in translation. Let's change this to rotation. There we go. And now I'm going to rotate it. And for this one, I should be able to do negative 22.5 and hit the check mark. And there we have our second copied group. And I just want to clarify that you can apply multiple translations and rotations. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to grab the boss and let's copy and then paste special again. And we'll apply our move rotate. And for moving this, 
you're going to select some kind of reference to define the translation direction and it could be an axis you can use axes uh, to define it most commonly though people use edges my personal preference is to select a surface when I can instead of an edge because surfaces tend to be more stable references than edges and you will be translating normal to that flat planar surface so I can drag it out here some distance and then type in the value that I want and that is my first transformation and if I want to I could then choose to change the reference that I'm using if I want to do additional ones you could choose new move and select the additional reference and then drag it out to some distance that you want so in this case I'm doing two translations and if I wanted to I could do another vertical translation if I want and you can add as many moves as you want and like I mentioned you can translate and rotate so for example let's select the boss copy paste special and apply move rotate and for the first one I'm going to translate out here a distance of 20 and for the second move this one is going to be a rotate and we'll rotate about the axis and let's do this minus 45 or I could do 315 and so that way it's translated and then rotated and we have our copy created so please let me know in the comments if you use the copy and paste special command or if this is something that you think you might use. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.